GERD is where when we swallow food, it goes into the stomach, it refluxes back up. When that acid and that food refluxes back up to the middle part of the esophagus, it can actually send a message to the lungs where the lungs will go into spasm and they will begin to wheeze and become inflamed. That makes asthma worse. So when people have asthma, we need to be sure that they don't have reflux and that we're treating that reflux. The reflux can continue to go up the esophagus into the throat and actually back down into the lungs and cause inflammation that way also. So yes, GERD can aggravate asthma. Now, if the reflux goes up into the throat, then people <clears throat> wake up with a little bit of hoarseness in the morning. And that hoarseness is because that red acid inflames the vocal cord. And so when that vocal cord gets inflamed, it causes hoarseness. Frequently it's worse in the morning, gets better as the day goes on. Now that same reflux can go up in the back of the nasopharynx and can irritate the opening of the sinuses that drain into the nose. So we have to think of GERD when we think of people that have chronic recurrent sinus disease. So when you have GERD, know that it can cause other things just than heartburn. People frequently have nighttime awakening with their GERD. Uh, GERD's a serious problem. If gone untreated, it can change the lining of the esophagus. This is called Barrett's esophagitis, which can be a precancerous lesion. So don't let chronic heartburn go untouched. Turn off those flames by seeing your doctor and talk to him about those.